Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ray. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can take a Vapor app built with PostgreSQL and deploy it to Heroku. This won't take long at all, so let's just dive right in. I have a simple Vapor project here that uses PostgreSQL to persist my app's data on my local machine. I can give it a quick test by going to the slash test route, which adds an entry to the database and prints out all the entries. I basically want to take this and deploy it to Heroku, but there are two challenges. First, I have this file secrets postgresql.json that tells Vapor how to connect to my local database. The thing is, if you look at gitignore, you'll see this file will not be checked into git, and it shouldn't be because it's secret local information. The question is, how do I get similar information to Heroku? And second, I have a local PostgreSQL database installed, which is great, but obviously I need to get one in the cloud, so how do I do that? Well, I'll show you. First, we need to create a local Git repository and commit all our code. Next, I'll set up Heroku with Vapor Heroku in it. I'll accept the default, except I won't deploy now because I have to do a few configuration things first. First, I need to create a PostgreSQL database, and luckily that's built in right into Heroku with the add-on. You can just use Heroku add-ons create, specify the Heroku PostgreSQL database and the plan you want to choose. I'm going to choose Hobby Dev, and it'll create a database for you. And even nicer, if you run Heroku config, you'll see that it's created an environment variable for you with the database URL. So all we really need to do is pass this URL to Vapor so that it knows where to find the database in production. To do this, I'll edit the proc file, which you can think of as the file that manages the command line to be run on Heroku. At the end here, I'll add a dash dash config option to set the postgresql.url configuration option to the database URL environment variable. And don't forget, like I just did, to commit your change back to the repo. Finally, I'll deploy this back to Heroku with git push Heroku master. At this point, you usually have to wait a very long time, but I'll skip ahead, and boom, it's deployed. Let's run our test route, and nice, we've made a web app that is persisting data to a database in the cloud. Hey, I told you this would be quick. At this point, you should understand how to take a Vapor app that was built with PostgreSQL and deploy it to Heroku. Now you're one step closer to creating the next Facebook. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.